हरि ओम खेड्स द थीम ऑफ टुडेज बाल संस्कार केंद्र इज गजेंद्र मोक्ष कथा इन श्रीमद् भागवत महापुराण देयर इज अ स्टोरी अबाउट गजेंद्र एन एलिफेंट हु लिव्ड इन द फॉरेस्ट विद हिज फैमिली एंड फ्रेंड्स वंस गजेंद्र वेंट टू अ ब्यूटीफुल लेक व्हिच हैड ब्लूमिंग लोटसेस He bathed in the enchanting lake and drank its sweet water. Then suddenly a crocodile came from nowhere and seized the elephant's foot with its strong jaws. Even though the power of the crocodile was at its peak underwater, the elephant still tried hard to fight the crocodile, but to no avail. He felt helpless in saving himself. Then Gajendra called out to Bhagwan Vishnu and praised him in this way. O oh, divine Bhagwan, the support of the entire world, the origin of all existence, who exists in a distinct and superior form and whose entry awakens life in this body of ours. I seek refuge in you supreme being yearning for liberation I humbly bow to the ultimate divinity seeking your protection and benevolent grace when no one came to save gajraj and upon hearing gajraj's pleas in the form of prayers four armed bhagwan narayan with his sudarshan chakra and riding on the back of garudji descended along with other gods in an ultra fast pace at the place where the crocodile had held the elephant's foot seeing bhagwan shri hari kami the sad elephant plucked a lotus flower with his trunk from the lake and offered it to bhagwan and said salutations to you sarva puja hari narayan As soon as Gajraj said this Bhagwan Shri Hari descended on the lake with his sudarshan ripped the jaw of the crocodile and saved the elephant and then Gajendra went with Bhagwan Shri Hari to his abode and the crocodile also attained salvation by dying at the hands of God children when Gajendra found himself nearing death and there was no way left He took refuge in Bhagwan and started calling him with earnestness. Hearing this, Bhagwan Shri Hari himself came and saved his life. Shri Krishna has said in the Bhagavad Puran that a person who recites or hears this Gajendra Moksha Katha will also be protected from adversity and he will become the beloved of Bhagwan. Remembering Pooja Gurudev, let's begin today's Bal Sanskar Kendra. Kirtan. Now we will stand and perform Kirtan and dance for a while.
Now all children will harm Omkar. Hari. Now children, we will do Dratak. Dratak increases our concentration and memory power.
Story. Gajendra Moksha, a previous birth story. When Shuk Devji narrated the story of Gajendra Moksha to King Parikshit, Kim Parikshit asked, "O oh Maharaj, even a human being cannot pray so well. Then how could Gajendra, the elephant, do it? Many elephants keep dying like this in the forest. But who was that Gajendra?" whom bhagwan himself came to protect and many crocodiles also keep dying in such bodies of water but what was the virtue of that crocodile that he got salvation by the hands of bhagwan then shukdev ji mara said oh parikshit in his previous birth gajendra was the king of the dravid country He left his kingdom and lived on a mountain, growing his locks and doing penance. One day, Sage Agastya passed by there with his disciples. Sage Agastya saw that this king was living like an ascetic by abandoning his duties of caring for his people and serving his guests, etc. Hence, he became angry with that king. and in anger he cursed the king o oh, king without receiving education from the teachers out of pride you have retired from charity and are doing whatever you want that is you have become still as an elephant hence you should get the same elephant's form then the king realized his mistake and prayed for forgiveness then sage agastya said that even in the body of an elephant at the end of time you will remember bhagwan bhagwan himself will protect you and you will go to god's abode the king considered this curse as his destiny after this in his second birth he became the elephant but due to the influence of bhagwan's worship despite being an elephant He remembered Bhagwan. Lord Shri Hari thus saved Gajendra and gave him a place in his world. Similarly, the crocodile who caught Gajendra was a Gandharva in a previous life. Once Sage Deval was taking a bath in a pond. The Gandharva quietly went inside the same pond, caught a hold of the sage's foot. and started shouting crocodile 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 angered by this the sage devil cursed the gandharva and said hey gandharva you don't feel ashamed you should respect saints and sages and you are making fun of them and like a crocodile you come and grab my leg oh wicked you will be born a crocodile the gandharva started apologizing to the sage and then the sage said you will definitely be born in the form of a crocodile but your salvation will be by the hands of bhagwan consider it a game or of nature or a play of bhagwan in the same pond where gajendra became the crocodile the same gajraj came to drink water and the crocodile caught gajraj's leg in its jaws Bhagwan protected Gajraj and also saved the crocodile and thus Bhagwan kept the promise of his beloved saints. Children, from this story we get two lessons. Firstly, the devotion done to Bhagwan never goes to waste. Secondly, one should never insult the saints even by mistake. Competition Now is the turn of a knowledge and science competition. You will be asked a question and there will be four options to choose from. You will need to give the right answer in 10 seconds. The question is, who is the composer of the Shrimad Bhagavat Mahapurana? The options are A. Ved Vyas ji B. Brahma ji C. Muni Sukhdev ji D. King Parikshit
correct answer to the question will be revealed at the end of the session. Glory of Indian Culture Symbolic Meaning of Gajender Moksha Stotra Gajender Moksha Stotra has a symbolic value in Sanatan Dharma, where Gajendra, an elephant, symbolizes a human. The lake water denotes this world and the crocodile is Maya. To quench the fatigue of many births, a living being comes to the lake, this world, and here a crocodile, in the form of Maya, catches it. It means humans get trapped in material desires. When he or she struggles, is sad, and prays to Bhagwan with a true heart, Bhagwan frees him or her from the clutches of Maya. Only through devotion towards Bhagwan can one attain liberation from the cycle of birth and death. Gajendra Moksha Stotra has many benefits. A daily recitation opens up the path to liberation, abates all the difficulties, and frees one from the critical troubles. Its recitation clears depths and cures pitrudosh, obstacles in descendants' lives because of negative deeds from ancestors. Reciting it by lighting a ghee lamp at the feet of Bhagwan Vishnu is beneficial. Listening to the Gajender Moksha story with devotion makes one tearful. This story is a composition of Karunaras, Pathos, and Bhaktiras, an attitude of loving Bhagwan purely for his sake only. This story is described in the second, third, and fourth chapters of the eighth skand of Srimad Bhagwat Mahapuran. Gajender praises Bhagwan in this stotra with a firmly centered devotional heart. Do's and Don'ts The Benefit of Observing Magmas It's beneficial to take bath before sunrise throughout the Magmas. If it isn't feasible, dedicate at least a week and have a bath before sunrise. Bathing early in the last three days of Magmas that is from Shukla Trayadashi to Mag Purnima, 21st to 23rd Feb, as per California time, gives the same benefits as in complete Magmas. For elderly or unwell individuals or those experiencing cuffs or colds, prior to showering, close your left nostril and take a few breaths through your right nostril. This helps protect against cuffs and colds. Yogasan Chakrasan In this pose, the body takes almost a wheel-like posture, hence called Chakrasan. Method Lie on the back, bend your legs from knees and lift them from the ground. Keep both the feet one and a half feet apart approximately. Raise both the hands towards the forehead and place both the palms on the ground. Keep a distance of about one and a half feet between the two palms. Now bend the entire body from the waist and lift it up with the help of hands and legs. Slowly move the hands towards the feet and make a circle shape of the entire body. Breathe normally. Practice gradually from 1 minute to reach 5 minutes. Benefit It purifies the spinal and all other nerves of the body and awakens yogic chakras. It eliminates paralysis and several weaknesses of the body. It strengthens head, neck, back, stomach, waist, hands, legs, and knees. It relieves joint pain, increases digestion, removes extra fat from the stomach. The body becomes bright and agile. It eliminates vicious thoughts and diseases of nightfall. 
Regular practice of Chakrasan prevents bent spine, stooping. Questionnaire Get ready for the questionnaire. In which book is the tale of Gajendra Moksha recorded? When Bhagwan came to rescue Gajendra, what did Gajendra do? How did Bhagwan Narayan protect Gajendra? What mistake did Gajendra make in his previous life for which he had to take birth as an elephant? What mistake did the crocodile make in his previous life for which he had to take birth as a crocodile? What do Gajendra, the lake, and the crocodile symbolize in the story of Gajendra Moksha? What are the benefits of reading the tale of Gajendra Moksha? How should we gain the benefits of bathing in the month of Mag? What are the benefits of doing Chakrasan? The correct answer to the question is A. The composer of Srimad Bhagwat Mahapuran is Guru Vedvyasji.